uh, you don't really have to understand that, just to set them because as it will not work most likely so the gl text parameter and we give an integer okay the first parameter is again what kind of texture is it this is gl texture 2d so this is a 2d texture the next one is what property do you want to modify first of all modify the min filter and the mag filter so the minification filter and the magnification filter uh, basically that's what I talked about but it's a little hard to explain in words but you can write GL texture min filter to Google and you will probably find a more in-depth explanation about that so GL texture mean filter filter oh filter okay like that and we will use gl linear which is means that we get an average of the pixels which uh, which is closed and we will use that okay and we make the same thing with the max filter so the only change is we change this to max when we use mip mapping we will change if this set uh, to mip mapping okay so one last thing is remains OpenGL has made a copy about the pixels in the surface so we can delete the surface so SDL free surface and call IMG so basically uh, the two OpenGL related function in here the load BMP and the free surface uh, and obviously there are this SDS surface which contain it okay basically we loaded the textures okay uh, oh one last thing we have to return with that ID all right now we are finished so we return with the ID and uh, that we will use later to modify the texture or just use the texture okay we have to ena enable another thing so use gl enable we enable the gl texture 2d basically we tell that we want to use 2d textures so we will put a texture to every mesh uh, if you don't want that so for example you could enable the texture in here oh sorry about that so you can enable the texture right here and disable right here and after then you can uh, draw a quad which is not textured okay so we enable the texture and then we may have to say what uh, so we have to load the textures with the function with just right so for now make a global variable to make everything simple call it unsigned in text okay and then load this texture which which is just called this function so the load texture function load texture and in here we just give the brick.bmp name so brick.bmp okay now we loaded the texture which is which has the identification uh, uh, identification text okay before we draw we actually tell uh, OpenGL that we want to use this texture probably because there is one texture may it maybe it would work without it but uh, uh, maybe not so GL bind texture the first parameter as you see the, the, the GL texture 2d and then the text which is the identifier okay we loaded the texture now we can actually draw it to this uh, quad now you only have to say it how do you want to draw it to the quad okay here is the image and this lower left corner is the zero zero coordinate zero zero okay this coordinate is one in the x-axis zero coordinate this coordinate is 0 1 coordinate 
and the last one obviously one one coordinate you have to know this for mapping the texture to the surface okay so we basically because we have a, a square as well so we can very easily put it you can use lower uh, you can use greater numbers than one in that case the texture will be repeat uh, at default setting you can change it by changing the wrap uh, I will talk about later in the advanced the texturing uh, for now just uh, if you set more than one it will repeat the texture if you set less than one then obviously it will cut the part which is which cannot be seen okay so in here we can put it without text uh, without wrapping or modifying or so without stretching okay so first of all let's make the lower left corner which is I think that is because the first parameter uh, tell this is in left and the second parameter tell that it is down so this is the zero zero coordinate we use the GL text chord to F for that this this is tell the texture coordinate with the same system as we used in here you can p obviously put a part of the texture by by give greater values in here and smaller values in here then it would be a part of the texture okay so we use 2f because we give two fr uh, floats this 0 and the 1 for now we don't use any other just zeros and ones okay and uh, let's put it here so this is the 0 0 coordinate the upper right corner so this is the one one coordinate the upper right is this one in down so gl text chord 2f and this is the one one coordinate okay let's see what other do we have we have this minus two uh, two this is the left upper coordinate so this this is should be zero one so gl text chord 2f 0 1 okay and 1 is left in here this will be the 1 0 so gl text chord 2f 1 0 that's about it we have the we have set the texture coordinate and now we are actually i think we are ready uh, by the way you, there is a, a rotate here so it will be continuously rotate and the texture will be rotate as well okay so now we are ready to compile okay i find one error this is not max filter this is mag filter like magnification not maxification so mag filter now we can compile it and probably run it okay there we go we loaded the texture to this simple quad uh, so this simple quad and now we can rotate it as you can see the texture appears, appears uh, both faces so both sides of the of the quad so of the primitive it's called primitive so there we go you just loaded a texture to in here uh, I show you the repeating so you if you just change the ones to twos in the texture coordinate then it will repeat repeat the texture so it will be twice in every direction repeat it twice okay as you can see we have much more bricks because we repeat it we can see where we repeat it because it is not perfect uh, image so we repeat it in here and here okay that's about it so it may seem a little bit scary first because you need quite lo a lot line to load a simple texture to open GL but uh, after you know what each one of them means it's pretty simple to do so 
you have to give these two parameters, but you can uh, give other parameter with this GL text parameter i, like as I said, the wrapping, uh, which will tell that should it repeat or should it do other things. Okay. Uh, basically, that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.